Now last time on the fast lane car we checked out the brand new F12 Berlinetta and let's face it traditionally four-seater Ferraris like this FF have not been the most popular cars in the Ferrari stable so today let's check out the FF and find out a little bit more coming up next on the fast lane car. Family Ferrari, I guess. Well, Family Ferrari, actually FF stands for Ferrari Fort. And, um, I'm it's, joking. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's four because you have four seats, four comfortable seats, and, and four-wheel drive. drive. Correct. So the F12 and the FF are actually kind of sister cars. Tell and me about that. How's that? They're both V12 front engine coupes. Yep. Um, and you'll notice that the styling even across the front is very similar. Uh, obviously, the F12 is more aggressive because it, it's designed to be. But as far as performance features and, and the engine itself, they're very similar. So in the FF, you have a 651 horsepower V12, Same which engine? is, it's a similar engine. It's a slightly modified in the F12 to make it more horsepower, but it, the block itself is, is very similar. Um, also made it to a seven speed dual clutch gearbox, but it has a innovative four wheel drive system called 4RM, which allows the car to engage a second transmission in the front, mm. which is basically a high low and it only engages when you need it. So when you're driving around the track, for example, the car is 100% rear-wheel drive and it feels like any other Ferrari. But if you ever were to take it to the snow, it would engage the four-wheel drive and give you all the extra stability that you need. Um, Not here in Miami. Well, <laughs> rain? Rain, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's, go, let's go on the inside. Let's look at the inside really quickly. So this is designed much more like a luxury car. So you'll notice that the interior space is, is very, very crafted. Yeah, so um, kind of show, show me. This, this one isn't as driver centric as the F12. Correct, it's slightly more family oriented in the sense that you have a, a center screen, you have but the steering wheel stays the same as in the F12. Uh, you have uh, the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, but the most important thing is that you have a back seat where you can fit two adults. And of course, you, you have real carbon fiber. That's not fake carbon. This is fiber. all real carbon, yeah. No, no fake carbon here. Um, and how much does this one start at? What's the price? This point? car starts at 302000 yep. and they go up to about three fifty depending on options. So this car, as you see, it is about three fifty five. And have you driven it? I have. And what's the drive like? Actually, a lot like the F12. Really? Believe it or not. Um, the Except F12 is a little bit more raw, yeah. uh, but this is very, very, very comfortable. And it's impressive how fast this car can go. Like on the track, you, you'll be keeping up with a 458, no problem. Now traditionally, uh, four-seater Ferraris have not done so well in the market. People always want a Ferrari for its obviously sports car, race car heritage. So how is this doing? Are people accepting a, a four-seater? This car is doing better, well not better necessarily, but this car is doing very well in the sense that it's attracting a different market. Um, yeah. This is a car that can be used as 100% as a daily driver. and so. We're attracting a lot of people from Bentley and Rolls Royces. Yeah, let's whereas, go back. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I mean, this is obviously something that competes with the Bentley, uh, maybe even the new Rolls Royce in some ways. Correct. And yeah. so this gives you a sportier alternative to the high-end luxury cars. A lot more room and back here. A lot more room, and obviously uh, you have Hatchback. the ability to fold the seats down, so you can actually put luggage all the way up to the front as well. And how about the back? Is it also? It looks like it's got the same kind of arrow. You'll notice user. that the channeling is almost. Is, is similar, yeah. Now this this car has a little bit of a different rear, but it also uses the same concept of, of channeling all the air through the back and down the, down the diffuser. Um, both the F12 and and the FF sound like like Formula One cars. They have amazing sound. All right, last question. Yep. You've got the entire family of Ferraris here. Have you driven them all? I have. All right, and if it were your money, which would you buy? Uh. <laughs> That's a great question. I'd have to say the F12. Really? Yeah, just for raw horsepower. It's, Be because it's, or is it because it's the newest? I mean, it's always well, not necessarily the newest. It's just. Uh, it's more visceral exactly yeah. the sound is amazing and the car is just uh, so fast well thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us my Appreciate pleasure you. so as much as the ff is the family ferrari i think when most people think of ferraris they think of cars like this one the california which is of course a hard top drop convertible as always this is roman reporting right from the miami auto show thanks for watching and remember subscribe for a new car video every day ciao bella Fast lane car.